Welcome to NBA Basketball. I'm Damon Bruce. We've got you covered here on 2K Sports. The NBA season reaches its final chapter. It's Game 1 of the NBA Finals. It's going to be the Oklahoma City Thunder up against the Chicago Bulls. Tip-off is moments away. The long journey now reaches its epic conclusion. The pinnacle atop this stage with the attention of millions far and wide. Two teams hardened by the fire of competition find themselves within arm's reach of destiny. Within grasp, their place amongst the immortal legends of the game. Welcome to the NBA Finals. Basketball's biggest stage, the NBA Finals. It begins here, and 2K Sports is happy to bring it to you. Hi everyone, this is Kevin Harlan. With me, Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. Now, before Game 1 of the NBA Finals gets going, let's give you the State Farm starting lineup. First for the Thunder. In the backcourt, Russell Westbrook and James Harden. And in the paint, holding down the pivot of physical and bruising big man at 6'10", Big Perk, Kendrick Perkins. And it's Durant, and it's Ibaka in at the four. And then for the Chicago Bulls, Derek Rose runs the show with Rip Hamilton to the side. And down low, the two-time NCAA champion at Florida, the 6'11 tornado of energy and effort. It's the big man, Joaquin Noah. Then it's Dang, and it's Boozer in at the four-man position. With the top seed possessing home court advantage, and they're looking to come out and make a statement here in this first game. Well, Kevin, they've been thinking about the finals since the minute the regular season ended. And they're anxious to get this series started and get it started the right way with a win here on their home court. Yeah, that's certainly the idea, Steve. I mean, to use that home court advantage to your benefit right from Jump Street. I mean, if they get the win here in game one, the buzz in this city and the electricity amongst these fans will increase. And in game two, you feel like the home court advantage even gets bigger. And it's going to be the Bulls off the tip. And so it's official, folks. The NBA Finals have tipped off. And what a game we've got in store. Now here's Rose. Boozer with the screen for Rose. It's stolen by Ibaka. The finish. Oh, ridiculous. Tore it down that time. <laughs> Boy, sensational slam right there. He's a beast. He can go straight over the top of you if you're in his way. And he's always waiting for a chance to show off his aerial skills. And the highlight real replay. Watch you by Sprite. Good stuff. Noah with a screen on Westbrook. And it's Rose penetrating. Cut the bucket. Not much resistance for him after that pick, Kevin. I mean, he had all sorts of space to hit the shot. Harden against Hamilton. Steps back and fires. Harden can't hit. And the defense did just enough to throw him off that shot. Here's Hamilton. And that one's good. Hamilton's got his first points of the night. We play just over a minute here in the first. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Hey, Kevin, a bit ago, Scott Brooks and I were able to chat. We talked about game one and what it would mean to take it on the road. He said we're up against the best their conference has to offer. Taking this first game on the road would be a huge victory for us. But more importantly, we have to show them we're going to fight them every step of the way. Gentlemen. Always great to hear from you, Doris. Well, they are locked and loaded early. Three for three. Westbrook passes to Harden. Gathers. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Harden's got his first points in this one. Westbrook against Rose. Boozer. Hamilton outside. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. And it's Rose, this time the assist from Richard Hamilton. And it's six points for Rose. Red hot, right out of the gates. Four for four shooting. Westbrook kicks to Durant. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will take it. That is not a difficult pass. You'd think they could keep it in bounds.
Bulls have gone 4-4 four four to start. So a nice offensive rhythm to start here. Hamilton off the pick from Rose. Dang, defended by Durant. Dang, kicks to Hamilton. The feed to Boozer. Wide open. Again, Chicago. Five buckets without a miss. That's a fantastic start. Here's Harden. And he drops it in from the low post. Harden's got his second basket of the game. You know, and I think it goes without saying, guys, but his strength and body control scoring in close, that's what makes him special. You can see it with the shooting percentages inside. I mean, he's a tremendous finisher. And Steve, he's earned a nickname that's familiar to anybody that's followed basketball, the microwave. There's no slow buildup with him. All he needs is one shot to go down, and it can set him off, turn him into a real scoring machine. He cooks with gas, not electricity. Here's Boozer, rebounded by Serge Ibaka. Great job defending the hoop there. So important to have good presence defensively inside. There's the triple, and James Harden hits from deep. Harden's got seven. I tell you, they might have to make a defensive adjustment. They can't give him that kind of a look from beyond the arc. No good from Hamilton. Great offensive performance they're putting on. You see the benefit of knocking down baskets consecutively because it leads to the confidence growing and growing, doesn't it, Steve? It sure does, and now it's to the point where they just feel unstoppable. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. Bulls trail by five. Rose with the ball. Westbrook picks him up. Rose attacking. Okay, everything is falling for him now. He hasn't missed a shot this quarter. The Thunder have gone seven and nine from the field. A really nice start offensively for them. Durant for three. Rebound by the Bulls. Yeah, again, if the shot selection there, defender draped all over. Him. Well, you got to understand who's guarding you in that situation. I mean, if he's on you tight, you can't just rise up and try to shoot over the top. The dish guard. Three-pointer. And Ibaka slams it in. Rose with the ball. Eight points for him. Hamilton passes it to Boozer. Kick out to Hamilton. Back to Boozer. He feeds it to Noah, leads him in there. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Yeah, he got whacked. Shouldn't be much debate on that one. Yeah, that was as straightforward as it gets, guys. The Bulls shooting their first free throws. First trip to the line in this one. And he can't get the first one. Taj Gibson's checked in for Chicago. Heinrich comes in for Richard Hamilton. Nick Collison's checked in for the Thunder. Cephalosha comes in for Serge Ibaka. Good on the second free throw. The Thunder have gone 8 of 12 on field goal attempt so far and Westbrook here we go kicks to Collison that's good and so Westbrook comes up with the assist Collison's got his first bucket of the night Heinrich against Harden Rose kicks to Dang and it's Gibson finishing it off that's how to make your mark on the board with an emphatic finish. Oh, Clark, he was savage on that second opportunity. <laughs> yeah, those are the types of possessions that are really demoralizing for a defense, guys. And here now the 
Thunder after the Bulls pick up two. And it's good. Those are shots he shouldn't be afraid to take. He can make them. Bulls trail by five. Heinrich outside. Heinrich, right side. And Gibson kicks to Rose. He dishes it to Heinrich. Back to Rose. And a great assist by Heinrich as that one goes in. Ten points for Rose. You know, they're just getting hammered inside and really need to find a way to be tougher down there. they got to be physical. they got a man up in there. I agree. If you look at the points they're giving up, most of them seem to be coming inside the paint. Westbrook with the bucket. Westbrook's got his second basket of the night. Another nice move from a player we've basically come to expect. Nothing less from. Here's Rose. Good, and Heinrich gets the assist. That's 12 points for Rose. Now, they may have to climb on his back to get back into this game. Harden dishes to Collis. Stolen by Boozer. Heinrich outside. Boozer with a screen for Heinrich. It's deflected, but they get it back. Rose kicks to Boozer. Back to Rose. Shot clock at six. over Westbrook goes up again and it's going to be two free throws drew contact on the shot and the defense looking to protect the rim at all costs yeah I like that a foul to save the layup make him earn it at the line well the thing you love about Gibson is his energy and his length defensively he's got those long arms he can bounce he can really get off the floor and he's smart so he anticipates things before they happen at that end of the court one of the best front court defenders there is in the league. Yeah, he really is. A lot of defense, his motivation, and Taj has never had a problem with that. If he has the mindset that he doesn't want you to score, and he can make things very difficult for you, whoever he is guarding, you know, that's when he is at his very best. The Thunder with the lead. He fires the three. Sevalosia passes to Collison. Cook from outside the arc. That's good. Both sides really coming out of the gate firing here. Guys, they look like they were raring to go in this one. A lot of offense early on. Heinrich kicks to Gibson. Bellinelli gives in the screen. Bellinelli dishes to Hamilton. Deflected. Cephalosha with the steal. And oh, here we go. Maynard's got it. The fast break chance. That's good. And it's a six point Thunder lead. That's a gut punch right there, Clark. Cough up the ball at one end and get beaten on the break at the other. Yeah, that really hurts. That's painful. Muhammad really passed to Hamilton. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Boy, they've been getting a lot of their points on those mid-range jumpers. Now, that's a shot that can come and go. Not an easy shot, but they're doing a nice job knocking them down. Jones defended by Gibson. Here is Cook from deep three-point range. No good on that last second attempt there. The offense coming free and easy as we wrap up the first quarter. It's the Thunder. They're up by four. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. It's amazing. So amazing. And we so welcome amazing. you back to our presentation of game one. What do you guys think about the Thunder here in this one? And I like what they've done offensively, really attacking the rim, getting a lot of points in the paint. And guys, they've been the aggressor early. I mean, attacking the hoop and getting into the paint, that can make the game really easy for you. The Thunder leading by four. Maynard kicks to Durant. Fires from deep. Can't get it to go. Nice D from Dang. Defense didn't give him any space there. Pass to Gibson. He kicks it to Bellinelli. From deep. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Abaka's got his third rebound on the night. Here's Cook. That's blocked. Now here's Heinrich. Looking for his first bucket of the game. Gives him the lead pass. Bellinelli gets the bucket. Bellinelli's got the first points up on the board here in the second quarter for the Bulls. 
Maynard dishes to Jones. The basket good off the assist from Maynard. And the Thunder lead by four. Now they'll take as many of those high percentage shots as they can get, guys. Tipped away. And they're moving it up. The alley -oop pass. And they're on the break. Here's Dang. The layup missed. The Thunder leading by four. Outside Durant. And the basket good. Durant's got his second bucket of the night. He is always so in control, guys. Even when he's going hard to the hoop. Very skilled finisher. The Thunder shooting their first free throw of the night here. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Nazi Muhammad's checked in for Noah. Boozer comes in for Taj Gibson. Richard Hamilton's checked in for Lou Aldang. And Derrick Rose is subbed in for Kirk Heinrich. Bulls trail by seven. Outside Rose. Hamilton with a screen on West. Here's Pellinelli. Here's Boozer. The rebound by Harden. The Thunder have gone two or four shooting the ball here in the second. And stolen by Hamilton. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones a long time without a basket. They gotta find something, you're right. Rose, he's covered by Westbrook. And the foul called on Russell Westbrook. That is his first foul of the game. Some changes for Chicago. Gibson comes in for Carlos Boozer. And it's Heinrich in for Bellinelli. And Oklahoma City with a change here, too. Collison's out there. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. Here's Rose. Good on the shot. Rose has got 14. The Thunder leading by five. And here's Harden. Perkins the pass to Zephalosha. And that one's good. He has five. Something has to change, guys. That's 10 straight points coming in the paint against this team. Well, they got to collapse in there, and everybody's got to be conscious of it. It's a team effort in protecting the paint. Control the ball, and then everybody's got to get in there and keep the defense locked down. Here's Hamilton, following the score by Oklahoma City. Just five on the clock. Here's Rose. Good D by Westbrook. And a nice job there defensively, just getting a hand up enough to bother the shot. Yeah, that was very nice. Impressive. It made it a much more difficult shot. Collison, good. They are in attack mode right now. That's 10 straight points, guys, all coming inside the paint. And Steve, if I'm them, I'm, I'd keep going right to the heart of that defense like they have been until they do something about it. If they don't offer resistance, take everything you can get in there. Boy, did they ever make a mess out of that one. A terrible turnover. Bellinelli, he's checked in for Kirk Heinrich. The Thunder also changing it up. Jones checked in for Perkins. Daquan Cook comes in for James Harden. And it's Maynard in for Russell Westbrook. The Thunder leading by nine. Maynard kicks to Jones. Takes it up. Stuffs it through. I think they gave him a little too much room there. I mean, that was all he needed to rise up and punch that one down. Yeah, he's going to jump at those chances, guys. Yeah, that's what he does. He is a high flyer. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Chicago calls timeout. You know, he just isn't pleased at all with the looks they've given up defensively inside. So I think this timeout is all about trying to get his group to tighten up defensively. I think they've got to figure out a way to tighten things up a bit. They just don't look very sharp to me on the defensive side. Well, good timeout, guys, because, uh, you know, this has been a bad run for them. He's got to get his team back on the same page and, and executing well together. Sometimes just getting the stop in the action can be enough to get a team back on track. There's something about that little pause in the intensity of the game that lets you refocus.
And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Here's Rose. Rose with another miss. That's a shot he's got to hit. I mean, you don't get too many better looks from that range. Here's Cook. A three-pointer, no good. Bulls trail by 11. Rose kicks to Hamilton. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. Hamilton's got eight. Guys, that time he went for the fancy finish for us there, man. That was sweet. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Here's Maynard. Here is Cook. Let's it go with a three. Hamilton pulls it in. Even with every shot clanging off the rim, he seems determined to keep hoisting up these three. It might be time to get inside of that arc. Boy, after struggling in the first quarter, he's come alive here in the second. To the paint, Jones defended by Gibson. Jones, no luck. The Bulls have gone 4 of 10 in the second quarter from the field. Hamilton left side. The nine foot shot. It's good this time the assist from Rose. Hamilton's got 11. Now the feed to Cephalosha. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. Got that bucket in in no time at all. And the Thunder lead by seven. Well the thing with Cook has always been his ability to shoot. It was that way at Ohio State. And Clark, I know you like watching some of those long range shots go in for him when he was a Buckeye. Yeah, you know what? If he heads out along the baseline for that corner three, you might as well stand out there with him because as soon as you help, he's off catching it and dropping in a three. The Bulls have gone 5 of 12 from the field here in the second. Here's Bellinelli, covered by Cephalosha, and Gibson kicks to Rose. Nailed from three point land. He's got 17. That's a defensive letup right there. I mean, they've got to close down on him quicker when he's in three-point range. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Thunder. Chicago making some changes. Joakim Noah, he's checked in for Muhammad. And it's Dang in for Bellinelli. Then for the Thunder, Serge Ibaka has checked in for Jones. And Kevin Durant is subbed in for Daquan Cook. And stolen by Hamilton. Rose against Ibaka. Outside Rose. Dang. Back to Rose. Oh, oh man. Wow. What a play. You know, that's something he's capable of every trip down. And it's just impossible to get tired of. Yeah, there's always this excitement, this aura that surrounds him, guys. And the, the crowd senses it. Special thanks to Sprite for that sweet replay. The Thunder have gone, 6 of 14 shooting here in the second. Durant attacking. Nice D from Dang. That's terrific defense right there to prevent from converting in close. And it's Rose, this time the assist by Noah. And that's now 21 points for Rose. Starting to build ahead of steam here. He had a good first quarter, but it's been even better here in the second. Here's Durant. And that one's good. Durant's got his third bucket of the night. Yeah, we're now starting to see them get some high percentage shots in the paint. Yeah, that's five of their last six buckets inside the lane, so they're getting really high percentage looks down there. The basket good off the assist from Maynard. Maynard's got three assists tonight. Man, they have a huge advantage in points in the paint. Look at that. Oh, and this defense is getting pushed around a bit too much for my liking. They're just not competing at a high enough level here. Now here is Hamilton. He's got 11. Kept alive. Gibson. And it's blocked by Ibaka. Powered down with both hands. You know, the dunk was great, but I didn't care for that interior defense there, guys. It was non-existent. You're right, Clark. You know, it was way too easy. I don't think the coach liked it either. Look at it. Look at that face. Uh-oh. <laughs> it doesn't get much easier than that. They have got to tighten up their defense. That was embarrassing. And here are the Bulls now. The Thunder making the shot. And it's Gibson finishing it off. 
Well, he came down and put it right back on him. I mean, these two guys are going at it. It's mano a mano right now. Yeah, you're right. They're trying to outdo each other. Yeah, this is exciting. Back and forth action that we're seeing right now. And Hamilton gets it to go on the assist from Gibson. Now just a two-point thunder lead. And a chance to go for the two for one. Well, we'll see if they can do that. Feeds it to Cephalosha. Launches a three. Hamilton with some nice D. He hit a three in the first, but so far has been unable to capitalize here in this quarter. Shoots over Maney. No good from Hamilton. The defense got away with one there. I mean, usually it'll hurt you if you can... Oh, oh my oh, goodness. Oh, 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 oh. What a huge play. I tell you what, you need to archive that one for the highlight tape. Oh, yeah, that, that is a keeper. You're correct. Man, that was incredible. Yeah, and those plays will give your team a huge boost. Rose goes in. Good. Rose has got 11 here in this quarter alone. You know, he got one step ahead of the defense on that one. Excellent job. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. The free throw drops for Rose. Here comes James Harden. There's the three. That misses. Would have counted had it gone in. And the first half ends in a close one. Thunder lead by one. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of the third quarter. And now, brought to you by Sprint. Hope you're enjoying the finals so far. This is 2K Sports. I'm Damon Bruce. Oklahoma City up on top against the Bulls at United Center. It could go either way. Both teams trying to take the first game of this NBA Finals. Their team's leading scorer, Kevin Durant, at the break 11 points, and he's helped out with some key rebounds as well. Good overall also, though, for the Bulls. Defensively, very disruptive. They've been effective forcing turnovers. Nice steal so far. Derrick Rose has been on a roll in the first half. His shooting percentage off the charts right now. He's got the magic touch from the field, no question about it. And that'll be our report. Thanks so much for joining us. We hope to see you next time. Welcome back to our coverage of the NBA Finals. More action straight ahead. Excellent game we've seen from Derrick Rose. He's got 24 points and four assists. He's been very efficient offensively and defensively. He's been disruptive out there. And to me, that's a terrific combination, Steve, the kind that wins you a lot of ball games. The Thunder with the lead. Right side, Westbrook. Inside to Perkins. Stolen by Noah. And here we go. The Bulls. Fast break. Hamilton's got the ball. For the lead. Rose, no good. The Thunder shooting a smooth 58% from the field. Everything going according to plan for them on that end. Westbrook. No good with the triple. Bulls shooting 55% from the floor. They're feeling very confident offensively. Here's Rose. The 10 footer finds the target. Rose has got the first points of the second half up on the board for the Bulls. And out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. Difficult to explain that turnover. I mean, I guess he thought he had more room than he did, but he really lost his place on the court. Here is Rose. <laughs> And Durant with the block. Harden outside. Takes the three. Gets it to go. Harden's got 12. Chicago trailing here. Rose kicks to Hamilton. Hamilton right side. And the shot is good. 15 points in the game. 
Nice soft touch to drop that one in. Bulls have hit most of their free throws tonight. Five of six. It's a close game here in Chicago. Down low. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Dang. Left side rolls. It's Boozer missing. Oklahoma City's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. And the dunk by Westbrook. And Steve, this uh, game has a lot of character here in the third period. Yeah, you know what, guys? I love seeing this type of action. A competitive, compelling matchup. A lot of lead changes here so far. Yeah, six in total, Clark. So this has been a, a great game. Both teams playing hard and really competing out there. And finished off by Rose. You let him get to the rim, and that's exactly what's going to happen. Oh, you deserve that. Yeah, he's more than capable. You're right, Clark, of providing some great Highlight real material. Yes, sir. And for a point guard to finish like that, I mean, that is just special. Harden, covered by Hamilton. Kept alive. Here's Durant. Takes it up for the stuff. Oh, that's hard-nosed sandpaper basketball right there. A lot of little friction in there, Oh, partner. I love the way you describe that. Was it ever? <laughs> Nobody was going to get to the rim but him. Oh, man, with the violent putback to finish it off. That's good from Durant. Here is Rose. And he has 28 points for the game. Hamilton outside. Hamilton left side. Clock at six. Hamilton left side. Over Harden. A second chance effort. And Noah with a nice bucket inside. Noah's got his first two points. I think the best quality for Noah is the energy that he brings to the game, Kevin. He's got long arms. He can rebound. He can handle the ball. He can make plays. But really, it's just the impact he has with his effort and his energy that's most impressive. But he's so unselfish. I love that about him. And he's a real demon on the backboard. He's an outstanding offensive rebounder. He's a good passer, too. If he sees an open teammate, he won't hesitate to move the rock. And he's accurate with his passes, too. And it's Rose penetrating over Westbrook. Second chance shot. No good. And Oklahoma City will go with it the other way. They've led by as many as 11 points. Solid advantage in the rebounding totals for them so far here. You know, in every game, but particularly in a close game, every little advantage you can use helps them. They're certainly enjoying one on the glass here. That's too easy. They're getting whatever they want down there. You said it, Steve. Five straight field goals inside for them. Defense has to clamp down here. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. They've been very untidy with the ball here. You commit turnovers when you try to do too much or you force it. They need to focus on making the simple play, good passes, and moving the ball around. Here's what Chicago's going with right now. Ozzie Muhammad's checked in for Noah. Gibson comes in for Carlos Boozer. Bellinelli, he's checked in for Richard Hamilton. And it's Heinrich in for Derrick Rose. Here's Dang. Oh, get it! Uh oh what's oh. up now? Man, oh man, finishing with flavor. Yeah, he put something extra on that one. You're right. And the bench going wild, guys. They love it. What an amazing dunk. And the Thunder with some changes. Daquan Cooks checked in for Jones. And it's Maynard in for Russell Westbrook. The Bulls have made six of their seven attempts at the line in this one. Thunder have gone four or six in the field since the start of the third. Oh, went in there and tried to power it down. But through contact, he'll head to the line. What a performance from Durant here. He has 17 points, and he has one block in the game, too. I don't care if it's a small contribution. I mean, getting everybody to chip in with a little help on defense is so critical to a team's success. The Bulls making a switch here. Noah's checked in. And a switch here also for Oklahoma City. 
James Harden. He's checked in for Daquan Cook. Durant hits them both. Boy, he's knocking them down. No surprise there. He's one of the premier free throw shooters in the league. Now Heinrich, still looking to get on the scoreboard. Back to Gibson. Heinrich outside. Jump shot is good. And the Bulls lead by two. Harden outside. A three ball. And that one's good. Harden's got six here in this quarter. Another open look hit bottom from outside. Yeah, and that's three of their last five makes from beyond the arc. And Bellinelli kicks to Gibson. From beyond the arc, rebounded by Cephalosha. Cephalosha's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. No good. The Bulls have gotten half their shots to drop in the second half up to this point, going 7 to 14. Dang. The shot is off. Good D by Harden. He's far too tentative in the paint, and even more so when the defender is up tight on him like that time. Maynard, no good. And for the Bulls, they're shooting 47% from the field in the third. Here's Heinrich. Great D that time from Durant. Not too much congestion in the lane. I think he could have gotten a better shot that time, no question. Dang dishes to Gibson. From down in the low post, it goes. Gibson's got eight. And Clark, a great competitive game so far. Yeah, tit for tat. I mean, back and forth, plenty of lead changes, and excellent play. These two teams, guys, look so evenly matched to me. I think this could go right down to the wire. The three from Harden. The basket good off the assist from Durant. Durant's got his third assist on the night. Chicago calls timeout. We've seen Kevin Durant really have a great game. He just continues to light him up. They're going to have to find a way to make him work harder for his point. So for the Bulls, Carlos Boozer's checked in for Gibson. Hamilton comes in for Lou Aldang. And Derrick Rose is subbed in for Bellinelli. The Thunder also changing it up. Kendrick Perkins, he's checked in for Collison. Baca comes in for Cephalosha. And Russell Westbrook is subbed in for Eric Maynard. Rose kicks to Boozer. A block shot. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. Rose has got his fifth assist in this one. To the inside. And it's Westbrook. That time on the assist by Durant. Durant's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Rose kicks to Heinrich. Back to Rose. The rim rattling two-handed jam. Sweet finish there, showing you some major strength and the ability to scout. Oh, he rode that elevator right to the top floor. <laughs> Explosive hops. I'll tell you what, he can really catch you off guard. This is the heart. From the arc, that's good, and so Westbrook comes up with the assist. 21 points for James Harden. That's four of their last five coming from long range. This offense is cooking. Yeah, it's rolling, really rolling. And defensively, they kept collapsing, Steve, and leaving them open. So now they're in trouble. They're in a real dilemma now. Well, good job finding a little opening in the defense and burying the jumper. They get a hand on it. And here we go, the Bulls, fast break. And the Thunder pushing it up now. Tries for the alley-oop. And finished off by Westbrook. There's one thing about the alley-oop. You can't fire the pass in there. You've got to have some air under that pass. It needs a little hang time. That's exactly right. A lot of finesse, uh, uh, just like that one was. Perfectly thrown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what makes the play so much fun to watch. There's finesse on the front end, but then power on the end. And the foul called on Russell Westbrook. That's foul number two for him. Luol Dang is checked in for Chicago. Hamilton kicks to Dang. 
Back to Hamilton. Let's a floater go. There's the bucket. Good. Hamilton's got five points now this quarter. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Westbrook passes to Perkins. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Six points for Serge Ibaka. Boy, a nice tip in to salvage the points from the missed shot. And and made it work. It did, yeah, and those second chance points, Clark, they do add up. Yes, sir. They sure do. That's why boxing out is so important. Defensively, you can't just let a guy get to the rim and uh, not put a body on him. Got to be very careful with this team. They can be really strong inside if they get good position. Well, you give up that kind of deep position, Steve. Um, you're done. It's over. And thanks again for joining us. Let's see what happens here in the fourth. And now our sideline reporter, Doris Burke, has a report on our Sprite uncontainable game. Hi, Doris. Thank you, Kevin. And for our uncontainable game, the Thunder are the recipients. It's every NBA player's dream to compete in the NBA Finals. And no doubt they're making the most of that opportunity, gentlemen. Thank you, Doris. And Bellinelli kicks to Dang. Puts it up from 15. That's good. Tang's got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for the Bulls. The Thunder leading by three. Westbrook kicks to Durant. Puts up a three. Dang grabs the miss. Got a good look, though. I thought that was going to go down. Now the Dean may have done just enough there, Clark, to bother him and throw that shot off. Bellinelli. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. Rose has got his seventh assist in the game. Harden gets to West. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will take it. Well, that's inexcusable to throw a pass that far off the mark. Taj Gibson's checked in for the Bulls. Heinrich comes in for Marco Bellinelli. The Thunder also changing it up. Kendrick Perkins, he's checked in for Collison. Baca comes in for Kevin Durant. And Tavo Cephalosha subbed in for Daquan Cook. Joaquin Noah, he's checked in for Chicago. Kevin Durant's checked in for the Thunder. 60 seconds off the clock here in the fourth. Heinrich gets to boost. Good, and Heinrich gets the assist. And that's now nine points for Carlos Boozer. And guys, here in the fourth quarter, still a close game. Yeah, and actually still. Look out, watch out now. Yeah, he flushed that one down and then hung around the marble at his work a little bit. <laughs> yeah, getting acquainted with that rim. And giving the photographers an extra second or two, I guess. And the replay, of course, presented by Sprite. What a play. Rose kicks to Heinrich. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. Makes the lead pass. Noah's shot is off. Terrific defense at the rim. They got right in his path. You know, that's part of what great defenders do. They get not only in your path, but in your head a little bit, too. Richard Hamilton's checked in for Derrick Rhodes. And Oklahoma City also making a switch. James Harden. He's checked in for Tavo Cephalosha. Dang against Durant. And it's blocked by Dang. Ibaka dishes to Harden. Six on the shot clock. And fouled as he went up to the dunk. Good aggressive move, and he'll shoot two. That's on Joaquin Noah. We've seen James Harden playing a good game here. He's got 21 points, and he's buried a ton of three-pointers in this game, too. That free throw good from Harden. The Bulls making a switch here. Rose is checked in. Harden hits them both. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Heinrich kicks it to Noah. 
The pass to Rose. Rose off the big from Noah. And it's Rose penetrating. In low to Boozer. The Thunder pull it in. Buck has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Here's Durant. Powers down the dunk. You know, that kind of play will get you some brownie points with your coach, no doubt. <laughs> and with your fans, too, Clark, on a big dunk like that. And <laughs> even with the announcers. Oh, yeah! <laughs> we all love it. <laughs> Rose goes in. And he says, right back at you with a big dunk of his own. At his size, he can really finish at the rim. Yeah, and not just layups, as you just saw, folks. Wow. Unbelievable, isn't it? I mean, able to throw it down with ease. Westbrook with it. Outside Durant, shoots the three. That's good, and so Westbrook comes up with the assist. And now, 24 points for Kevin Durant. What a half they're having from beyond the arc. It's getting ridiculous. And there's no reason they shouldn't keep attacking from out there. I mean, they've got it going on in a big way now. Westbrook against Rose. Shoots a fader. It's rebounded by Durant. Durant's got his sixth rebound on the night. They are really getting the work done inside with their rebound. Now, not giving up too many second chance opportunities, which is always important. And it's been one of the reasons they have the lead right now. Westbrook passes to Ibaka. Outside Durant. Back to Ibaka. It's stolen by Dang. He's been efficient, though, offensively for the most part. That's only his first turnover for the game. And Boozer gets it to go. Man, they are both Just lighting it up here. Exciting basketball, down. Steve. I mean, it's been back and forth each side, dropping in points every chance they get. Time call here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Over the last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what Scott Brooks said to his team. He's happy with how they've been playing, saying, hey, they had their chance, but this is our time. We're going to win this game and take the series lead for good. He got them pretty fired up as they left the huddle, Kevin. Harden dishes to Durant. And the layup falls. Durant's got seven now in this quarter. You know, shooting as well as he has from the floor in the game this tight guy. You've got to think he's going to be a factor near the end. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Coach can't be pleased with their inconsistency on the defensive glass. They've been caught taking pictures out there. They're watching, as opposed to getting in there and securing the orange. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. And Boozer backs in. Noah. All alone. That's good. Now, here is Harden. To the middle. Puts it up. And it's Durant, that time on the assist by Harden. Harden's got three assists now in this one. Bulls trail by six. Rose kicks to Heinrich. Throws it up high. Rose. An emphatic L.U. jam. 
What a play. No regular dunk there. A superb alley-oop. And it was a great pass, too, to set him up. No, those two have such a great feel for each other. Uh, they're just fun to watch play together. Westbrook. And that one's good. And the Thunder lead by six. You gotta love the low post offense. That was beautiful. Heinrich against Harden. Back to Heinrich. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Dang with the bucket. And we have seen the intensity pick up big time here in the second half. Well, you can feel the desire from both teams that they really want to win this one. Westbrook against Rose. Ball's not loose. Westbrook passes to Durant from past the arc. And the shot is good. Durant's got 12 points now in the quarter. What a quarter for him. And with this lead, I mean, they might as well just ride him the rest of the night. Dang up top. The high post shot. Thunder with the rebound. Boy, I am absolutely loving this. They're bumping bodies down there and taking no prisoners, coming away with every ball. Yeah, that willingness to fight for every loose ball is a big reason why they have the lead right now, Clark. Rose attacking. He passes it to Boozer. And so it looks like the Bulls will retain possession here. A super defensive play. I mean, if that pass gets through, it's probably two points. And he knew that. He knew if it gets through, it's a score. So that's why he sold out for it and got a hand on it. Richard Hamilton's checked in for Kirk Heinrich. So it's Chicago now. They trail by seven. There's another opportunity, and everything's going right for these guys. And Boozer throws it down. That's what he's all about. That's who he is, retrieving those misses and exploding right back to the bucket. Prime example of it right there. No question. Good point, Clark. Yeah, great rebounder and a great finisher. So that's a difficult combination to deal with for the defense. Well, and you love the way he searched for good shots all game long. Free throw no good for Westbrook. They're really doing a good job working hard to get inside and draw contact, a little more so than they did in the first half. Well, and to keep a lead like this, they should continue to attack the paint like they have been. Don't settle for jump shots. Find your way to the free throw line. Durant, that's good. And it's a nine-point Thunder lead. You know, it's really the kind of game you expect from him, guys. I mean, extremely efficient, taking a lot of good shots. Chicago calls timeout. They're down by nine. 144 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Dishes to Boozer. Over Abaka. Kick out to Hamilton. Left side Rose. The seven footer falls. Boy, what a great job of getting into the teeth of the defense and scoring in the paint. And that's been their main point of attack. I mean, get the ball deep and try to score from in tight rather than rely on their outside shooting. I mean, that's a more consistent way to score. Take it inside. Bulls trail by nine. And it's blocked. Tipped. Dang against Harden. The kick out to Westbrook. 107 left in the fourth quarter. Good. Westbrook's got eight here in the quarter. Well, he's getting it warmed up now after that cold first half. Rose goes in, back to Boozer. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will retain possession. Rose, Rose. 
54 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Gets it to go. Well, with his team struggling, he is taking it upon himself to get them back into this game. Here's Westbrook. Rebound by the Bulls. Tough D on the inside. Put up a roadblock, a construction barrel right there. That's what he brings defensively. On the wing, Dang. Back to Rose. That drops. He shouldn't be afraid to take that shot more often. He's solid from there. It's stolen by Rhodes. And it looks like this one's out of reach. Yep, just a matter of the clock running out now. Boozer, no good. The Thunder shooting in offensive execution has been beyond great there. 63% from the floor in this game. And here's Westbrook. So it's Oklahoma City picking up the win. It was a solid win, Clark. Yeah, it was, and I think it came down to will more than skill. They went out and got this one. So game one is in the books for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan. We'll see you for game two as we present our Jordan Player of the Game.